hi welcome back to escape forever free also welcome back to my kitchen faith's kitchen we are here to do some juicing and of course we are continuing to invest in our spiritual physical mental and social wholeness let us pray as we go into our routine father thank you for this opportunity may those who watch be convinced and may they be willing to try to use these natural remedies to boost improve their health and maintain healthy living in jesus name we pray may their physical beings be blessed because they try in jesus name and healed and made healthy and made whole according to your will in jesus name amen all right so we are going to be doing some juicing this morning as i said we'll be doing green juice and carrot juice so follow me closely as we begin so for green juices this morning i'm using um four different types of greens i'm using spring beans um green bell peppers i'm using lettuce all right so we're using some lettuce and i'm using cucumbers so those are the four greens for this juice um this trip i'll also be doing some carrot juices so i'll be using about a pound to a pound and a half of carrots and to my carrots i'm not using beetroot this trip i'm out of beetroot i'm not well so i'm not able to go out um as i told you been inflicted so i'm in quarantine um working on getting better so i can return to work all right so i'm limited in what i have and um so for my carrot juices i'll be doing straight carrots and uh, I don't want turmeric in it this trip I've done my immune system booster with turmeric so my most favorite thing to put in my carrot juices um, is usually turmeric and sometimes ginger with that all right so I'll just be doing the um, the carrot juice straight so let's get into it all right so my vegetables are in the water wash them already just getting them a fresh little sprinkling i did um, um wash them in salt before salt and water so this is just some fresh water here and my juicer is ready and waiting i'm gonna switch it on as you all know i'm using the omega juicer you should all know by now let me give you a closer view this is it Alrighty. so it just is very well for me i do both my green and my carrot juices in it so you hear a little noise sorry there's construction going on next door so that's a part of the hazard i'm dealing with right now all right so let's see how much of that noise i can shut out for you and we will continue so here we go all right so let us start the juicing and shut some more of the noise out at the same time Alrighty, so here we go. A little bit too much. Let me get some more light in. Sorry about that. Alright, so we have here now our greens ready and waiting. Let me wash my hands. Pat them dry and get back to business so let's start the juicing get some of these string beans on my plate turn my juicer on and press it in so we put our greens in and we feed them in you can use the guide stick to help us with that whichever end works depending on what you're pushing in all right so it's going straight through the juicer set up the juicer already of course, we're using our strainer, so we put the strainer on this on the side that collects the juice. As you all noticed from the probably the last video I did or the first one, um, our juicing has no additives and no preservatives. It's 100% juice from the plants. There's not even water that is added. Nothing. 
everything is wrong directly from the plants, from the leaves, from the stems, from the tubes. All right, so we're just putting these thing, things in the juicer with a fresh wash, and that's it. All right, so we'll get some lettuce in. This is about, about um, a seven pounds amount of um, green stuff, so it will give me quite a couple cups of of green juice and I get up to four cups from this. Um, I do eight ounces when I'm taking the drink. If you are treating something and you know that you're treating something, you would go to 12 ounces each day and maybe have about two to four green juices per day. If you're working on stuff, and I'm gonna be very bold, bold enough to say if you're working on stuff like cancer, which these juices can help you to balance your cells clean your system and get that cancer out, get that body balanced, get that pH organized, and can pretty much help to save your life. Yeah, juicing is that powerful actually. Um, of course, you have other things you need to do with that to balance it. So you put yourself on an entire program. Eight laws of health is a very simple approach. So you'd add to that, going to bed early, you would add to that, getting X amount of sunshine every single day, directly and literally. You would also add to that faith in Christ, so you improve your faith. You pray for what you want, and you work towards it, and you watch it work. You will go to bed on time, making sure you get no less than eight hours sleep if you're dealing with something like cancer. Um, you will add to that fresh air. So you go out and you do the 479, breathing strategy every single day before the pollution hits your environment you would also want to add to that balanced water intake drinking it not just drinking it but drinking it correctly um warm water in the morning would be good for that as well as a part of your water intake first thing in the morning about two cups of warm water not hot warm water and you drink it slowly before you add anything else to your diet in the morning and you'll add to that same program of the treating with your cancer, you can add to that um, exercise, it's a must. Even if it's uh, just lifting your hands in the morning and stretching only, routine it and do it consistently. So all of these and other more are, to, are parts and parcel of what you add to the balance of treating with aggressive diseases in the body like cancer, which can be cured through your lifestyle and in particular through your health lifestyle, your, um, your diet, um, your engagement routines, and your relationship with God. So, yes, I was just bold enough to say it. Um, God is able, God is the only one who can heal everyone else medically and otherwise qualified can only treat and medicate our maladies but only god can heal um and of course very directly a part of his healing work comes directly through his plans that's what his bible teach that it was given for the healing of the land the healing of us the human creatures and living creatures that he has created in all different forms even animals. So there is no question about the power of our plants. All right, so I'm getting most of my plants in. So this is my lettuce still, pressing it through. I put quite an amount there. That's what the guide is for. All right, so we're juicing and we're getting green. So for your juice, your green juices, you want to use at least four greens, at least four different greens per serving. Of your green juice so we're getting these four in I'm gonna go now to my bell peppers as I said I'm gonna get no less than four cups from this about as I said about five to seven pounds of vegetables here um, amounting with the cucumbers the bell peppers the lettuce the head of lettuce so I use an entire head of lettuce two bell peppers medium size one cucumber and I use about a about a um, half a pound of string beans. Alrighty, so this is marking my green juice. I'm trying to move very fast, as fast as I can, so your video is not too long. All right, so I don't even cut my seeds out of my bell peppers. I put everything straight through the juicer. All right, so we're putting it in. 
gynae down, pressing it out. As the mastication happens in this masticated version of the Omega Juicer. Alright, so here we go. Continuing to juice. Make up my cucumbers. I find it's easier to juice when I cut them a long way. Give them the vertical cut and make them slim. It goes through easier because sometimes it has the habit of getting very mushy. And sometimes I have to pause to clean it out because it's not going down in the juicer. But I find that when I cut it, this vertical long slice, it goes through beautifully. Alrighty, so get my cucumber in, get in my cucumber in, let's slice it some more. More vertical cuts. Usually about three does the job. Setting it through the juicer now. Through the juicer. Come on, cucumber, cooperate. All right, so it's going in, very good. It's doing a very good job. All right, so get some more in. And that marks my green juice content. I am done with my green stuff. And if you look right here, we are looking at about one, two, three, four, five, four or five, eight ounces, eight ounces of juice right here. So I'll give it about five more seconds to ring dry, get all the juices out. And then I'm gonna pour a glass for you and move on to the carrot. All right, so I pause that right there. So the green juice saga is over. Get everything out from the strainer there. Knock the rest into the collection bin. And look, my collection um, container is full, almost to the brim. So if I'm to get an eight ounce out of this, I will measure it here with my cup. It just rinse it out a little bit. I want to stir this up as well it is as green as green gets very green show you some more so that's it all right very green and pour some this alone is eight ounces uh oh made a spill so this is eight ounces of the good stuff very green indeed and i will serve that in my glass careful so that would be my green juice. I don't mind topping it up sometimes a little bit. All right, so that's my eight ounce. All right, so the rest of it I will pour and store. I'm not gonna use it all at once. So I'll pour it in a bottle that can be tight capped. So here we go. All right, so right there we have about three other cups of green juice, which I'm gonna store in the refrigerator. And this one, I am going to drink. So in about a, um, 15 minutes more or so, I'm gonna have my green juice. I would have had my immune system booster earlier in the morning. So I'm gonna have this um, following shortly. Um, it's still very early. So after all of this, I would usually, I'm sorry, not my green juice. When I do my carrot juice, I'm gonna have it. So my green juice, I would have in the evening. So typically I would store it in the bottle and keep it frozen until I'm ready. I tore the amount I need. So if I'm gonna take a glass for today, I wouldn't keep it in the big bottle. I probably keep it in my, my glass or some other container and keep it in the, that is freezer safe and keep it in the, um, the freezer. So I keep it there to keep the, um, limited amount of um, oxidization and enzyme activity. So I, I kind of pause and freeze the enzyme activities by keeping it at a certain temperature in the freezer. When I'm ready to drink, I thaw and I have it right away. I don't keep it for longer than 48 hours when I'm storing up excess. All right, so we're gonna move on now to our carrots. So for me, when I'm doing my carrots, I don't like the taste of the green in it. So I tend to take things off and give it a little rings. So I'm gonna do just that and empty some of the green content. All right, so I, I usually give it a little bit, a quick wash, running it through the water in the sink and setting it back real quick. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a quick rinse. 
Alrighty. I think I'm back in business. I'm going to set it up back right now. Alright, so we put the cards back in. Get this out of my way. Alright, so this is how we assemble. And then last of all, my tape. If it doesn't fit and screw on, you know it's not um, aligned properly and it will not juice properly. So you get that feel, that kick when you're clicking it in. You need to hear the the um the center piece there click, and then you need to the last part at the outside needs to fit tightly into the the turn that you give it. I'll rinse my strainer off a little and put it back. So now we're going into our carrot juice, and as I said today, we're not using any beet, so we're using just our straight carrot. I don't know if I might add some ginger. I do have some ginger here, so I'm just gonna brush them lightly with the vegetable brush. Um, you can use a heavier brush if you want. I tend to use two brushes in my kitchen, and this is the other one. It's a heavy brush. I'm not scraping my carrots, actually. No scraping going on today. They're very sizable too, so I don't have to cut most of them. So I'm gonna juice up on again, and start pushing them through. So, we're into our carrot juicing. So I like to have my carrots in the mornings. So my carrot juices, especially if I add some ginger, they're very energizing. And as I said, I usually have beetroot in my carrot juices as well. So today, I will add a little ginger, a little piece of ginger to it. Um, ginger is very good for the immune system, very good in fighting COVID-19 keeping the immune system strong and ready for when it hits so that even if it does come you can bear it well and return to healthy living all right so i'm juicing about a pound and a maybe a little more over than the pound amount of carrots and usually a pound with a probably a pound and a half a pound is enough usually to give you an eight ounce collection all right and liquid so sending the carrot through the juice so they're very nice sizes so i don't have the trouble of having to cut i really don't have to going through very nicely cooperative you can see the residue the trash the dried stuff coming out on the other side of the juicer as we continue to collect our juices in the middle right here all right so Let's feed that through with the bigger side of my feeder stick. And it's the last of it now. So we send it, send it in with some support, with some push. Guide it in. And all right, I'll take a little piece of ginger in my carrot today. Not a lot. I don't like too much of any disturbance in my carrot juices. I like it to be sweet and enjoyable. All right, so let me help that trash down. Alrighty, so I'll give it about five more seconds to ring dry. I've got all my carrots in. So my carrot juice is just about complete. Also, you can store it in the freezer, no more than 48 hours, please. And you take it out when you're ready to, ahead of the time when you're ready to drink so it can thaw and liquidize. We keep it in the freezer and not the cooler because you want to slow down the enzyme activity so that the juices can be as alive as possible and as potent as possible. So, I pause my juicer and I pour just to show you my um, carrot content. The carrot is a very low yield, so it is a very ex fairly um, fairly expensive um, juicing option. But as I always say, it's not more expensive than losing your health and having to pay dearly, continuously, your doctor in cash for it. All right, so this is about eight ounces as I expected. There we go, a full eight ounce. And as I said, this is what I'm gonna have next. Having had a booster already, and I will store all my green juice for, um, I'll store all my green juice for having in the 
evenings i have it last thing before i go to bed at a reasonable time when my stomach is not too full i would have eaten quite ahead and my stomach would be ready for more so this is it green juice and carrot juice we just got some more juicing done please go ahead and try to make your do-it-yourself green juice and carrot juices have them regular juice for a month we are living in very health challenge time with COVID-19 still on the scene and keep your systems up and clean remember juicing can also be used to fight diseases if you want to hear more about that you can go ahead and ask questions I'll answer them as best as I can thank you so much for watching and drink to your health remember let us continue to work together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. One love and stay healthy. Walk good. And above all, please walk with God. Drink.